And so, uh, gotcha, man. Got a great idea for a video for you. How about you do a video explaining the mechanics step by step of how Johnny Gobble can make a girl in another state lose her baby by posting a public news article and a YouTube video that pertains to people that have been trolling him relentlessly for over a year. But her husband, getting drunk, throwing all concern for his pregnant wife, unborn baby, and future down the tubes because he's going to go try to delete six people that bruised his ego. That stress won't. Because, you know, it's not good. That stress isn't going to cause her to miscarriage. But Johnny Gobble posted a news article about it, Will. Do you guys realize how ghetto it is for you guys to try to make any of that about Johnny Gobble? When every single person on the outside looking in at your very small and constantly shrinking click of degenerates. Everyone knows that if that was Johnny Gobble sitting in jail, waiting to be arraigned, you guys would all be making videos. You'd be sending nasty messages to his wife, calling her a POS, calling him a POS, rushing to judgment, hoping he spends life, all, all of it. Everybody knows that. And there's way, way more people that know that than, than don't. And um, it's funny. I got this dude, this, uh, what is it, Jason V2323 up in my comments uh, trying to sell to me that I'm an, I'm an objective observer. And I have come to the determination that, Johnny Gobble is by far the worst of them all. He thinks he's going to sell me on that. When there are four YouTube channels dedicated to trolling him and his wife, you moron, you simpleton. You simpleton. And, hey, and by the way, can somebody ask if you guys see Seeper around? You guys know Seeper, a little little scrawny looking ball headed dude that can only get e girlfriends. You guys know the guy. He makes thirteen thousand dollars a day. Can you uh, ask him um, if he's related to this Jason V twenty three twenty three? Because Jason V twenty three twenty three makes fifteen million dollars a year. <laughs> hey, I got to ask you, dude. Uh, you ever had a stereo that would blow 40 windshields? <laughs> you ever win a world champion base race from a strip mall parking lot in Cincinnati? You, you ever fall down a 40,000 foot high mountain and break both your jaws so bad you can't get dentures? <laughs> you ever take the fender off a Corvette so you put a headlight in it? <laughs> huh? You know a guy that owns three nightclubs that make $13,000 in each every night? <laughs> I got to know. These millionaires, man, man, a lot of you guys out there. Anyway, dude, don't stop with your objective, unbiased, biased opinion about God. Well, I don't want to hear it. Most of what Johnny does is he's, he's either A, responding to something that's been done to him, or he's responding in frustration after it, a bunch of piling on. 
and like false narratives and twisting of words and gross exaggerations, just like they're doing right now, dude. You sit here right now telling me that Johnny Gobble's by far the worst, but here you got a mother and a wife whose son and husband is in some major, 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 major trouble, like big-time stuff. And where are they? They're up in Johnny Gobble's videos because they've been relentlessly trolling him right along with Gotcha Man nonstop. Gotcha Man has relentlessly trolled Johnny for two years. All of the people he calls his buds that he loves because they gave him money have been relentlessly trolling me, Martin, and Gobble for two years, both online and offline, not because anything was done to them, simply because they critiqued or I critiqued some rapper dude they like. And now, and now I got, I got gotcha, man, up in my comments, literally, literally attempting to hand me a victim card that he got from Johnny Gobble a few days ago. He's now a victim of Johnny Gobble, and I should feel sorry for him. Gotcha, man, did you forget making fun of Johnny's mom passing away? Did you forget about making fun of his dog dying? And the one that really turned my stomach on you, did you forget about making fun of him for being abused by his alcoholic father when he was a child and then dumped off in foster care? How many videos did you make ragging him about that? And you, of all people, having an alcoholic father and being in foster care knows exactly how hurtful that shit is. And now you want me to lay judgment on how he responds to that. I ain't going to do it. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to judge him at all for the way he has responded to the shit you people do to him and his wife. None of you have to watch his videos. And the real life stuff. There's no excuse for any of it. But I'll be damned if I'm going to bust his chops for, for, for responding in kind. And, and here you are right now trying to make something about this Johnny's fault that some dumbass is just like his mom, don't know how to handle his liquor, don't know when enough's enough. Destroys his family in one night. And they're in there trying to make it somehow something about Johnny Gobble because he shared the news article. When every single one of us know, everyone, everyone watching, gotcha, man, everyone watching, Crack Squad, Everyone watching Jason V2323, $15 million a year guy, everyone knows that if it was Johnny Gobble sitting in jail, waiting to be arraigned, every single one of these, these channels that are dedicated to trolling to him would be making videos, laughing, cheering, tee-hee, and high five, and all of it. With gotcha men right along with them. You can't troll somebody relentlessly for two years, gotcha, man, and then even attempt to pull a victim card. Because had you never trolled him, he would have never done anything to you, ever. Isn't that so? Gail, if you hadn't trolled Johnny Gobble, he'd have never done anything to you. Billy's pregnant wife 
trying to blame your stress on Johnny Gobble and not your drunk husband. Johnny Gobble would have never said a word had you not been trolling him constantly. Because I don't see Johnny Gobble ever say anything about anybody that isn't relentlessly trolling him. Not making excuses for anything he's done. H has he responded poorly, made some poor choices? I suppose, but I'm not judging him for it. I know how it feels to have a bunch of people doing nasty shit to you for no reason. I know how it feels. I've had it done to me. I know how it feels to have people messing with your family, like in real life, trying to put like real life stuff on you, trying to affect your life in a negative way for real, for real, because they don't like a YouTube video you made. And, and your weak, immature, silly notion got you, man, that it's about attention and not exposing the, the just unmitigated hypocrisy. Dude, if it was about attention, like I said in my short, I'd do what you did. Okay, I would, I would, I would copy your model for picking up a few subscribers. Let, 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 let's talk about your mechanics on how to get attention on the Internet. Well, what you do is you stab a friend in the back suddenly, and then you flip the script and go kick it with Crack Squad and suck up church nuts for a while. And then once you amass a few subscribers and get some attaboys and a little attention there, you flip back. If I wanted attention, I would single out some person, just this one random person on the Internet, and relentlessly troll him and his family. Not just online, but in real life. Like go to where he lives and do shit to him. You got call places he does business. I mean, all of it. That I would do that for attention. I I, I would like go get people's court documents and read them on my live stream and make fun of people that were abused as a child and you know claim that people that that, that survived cancer actually have AIDS. I do that stuff for attention, like you do, not. Just want attention from you. Who are you? Why would I want your attention? It's the hypocrisy, dude. It's the blatant hypocrisy and how ghetto it is. How just unbelievably ghetto it is for his mom and his wife to be out here trying to make it about Johnny Gobble posting a news article instead of the totality of what it is. You know, for some of you that don't know, there's not going to be any self-defense. Not according to the sheriff's press release. If what the sheriff's press release is accurate, there's no self-defense. You, you can't return someplace you've been trespassed three times even if they kick the ever-living shit out of you. Once you leave, you can't come back in self-defense ever. You just can't. And I'm going to tell you, I'm sorry. Trying to delete six people because you got your ego bruised is pretty hardcore stuff, man. You know, <clears throat> idle hands are the work of the devil. Idle hands are the work of the devil. And, uh, you know, if Billy had to work a regular job to put a roof over his family's head, he wouldn't have time to be up at 3 o'clock in the morning with too much alcohol under his belt ruining his life. He would have had to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and head to work. But since... He's kept by a rich cousin 
and doesn't have a damn thing to do, like there's nothing to achieve, there's no goals to aspire, there's nothing to go after, those are the kind of people that become alcoholics. So you're not going to get get at me <laughs> giving anybody pity because you think Johnny Gobble did something to you because you guys just pester the shit out of that guy. And I know exactly what that feels like. I've seen him many times post a video. It's just him talking about his day or something. Nothing to do with anybody, nothing. And there's people in there just trying to spin narratives and make nasty comments, say shitty stuff about his wife. I mean, it's constant. It's absolutely constant. And he's got every right in the world to be on YouTube and not have to put up with that shit. And I don't care how many times he talks smack about Ryan Upchurch. That doesn't give you the entitlement to do the shit you people have done to him and his wife for two years. So save it with your, with your bullshit nonsense. Jason B. 2323, take your $15 million and shoo away. I don't want to hear it, Mr. I've got the objective opinion that's correct that you must follow. No, you're one of those low IQ people that has selective moral outrage and selective social judgment, which is an absolute telltale sign of somebody that's extremely low IQ. If you can't, can't issue fair judgment, then you got no business making judgments at all. And if, if, if it outrages you that a stranger would do X, it should outrage you that your friend does X. And when you're that mature, you come back and we'll have a conversation. But any notion that Johnny Gobble has been worse than them, to them, than they have been to him, is an absolute fairy tale. You don't know the half of what they've done to that guy. So save it. The, the, the only victim here in all of this, gotcha man, is his wife, an unborn child. And they aren't the victim of Johnny Gobble. They are the victim of Billy Wayne Thomas. That's who they are the victim of. Period. Shame on every single one of you people trying to make it about Johnny Gobble because he posts a public news article. If if Johnny's posting a public news article stresses her out, goddamn, I hope she don't go to Google or Yahoo because there's about seven or eight news sites covering the story. It's on Facebook. It's it's on the sheriff's website. It's on the news sites. It, it's it. But, oh, my God, Johnny posting it. Oh, she's going to lose her baby, and it'll be his fault. And these moms out here making death threats towards some dude on YouTube. Well, her son's in jail waiting to be arraigned for attempting to delete six people. Save it, crack squad. Your credibility is mud, absolute mud.